All right, it's happening. This is it. We are charging a Chevy Bolt EUV at a Tesla charging station. This is going to be cool. It's going to be great for our road trips. So our first stop this morning is going to be our Chevy dealer uh, where I've ordered the adapter on uh, the app, the My Chevrolet app, and I'll show you what that looks like on the screen. But we're off right now to uh, Bob Brown Chevrolet and pick up our adapter. And we're turning on the heated seats this morning. <laughs> well, it's been anticipated all year, but GM finally announced that GM electric vehicles can now charge at the Tesla supercharger networks. To do it, you'll need to go to your My Chevrolet app, select your account, scroll down to where it says public charging, and then activate the Tesla Supercharger Network. You'll also have to click on order the NACS adapter. You can see here that that particular adapter costs $225 as an original GM part, and you may be able to get that adapter cheaper somewhere else, but I wanted to use the official one just to be sure. So one of the things that we're excited about getting this adapter for is that it will give us access to the Tesla supercharger network. Obviously, most of the time we just charge at home, but when we are on a road trip, having access to more uh, fast charging stations, the better. And we know that's one of the things that Tesla has done really well is their charging network is pretty widespread and pretty universal. So we're excited about this chance to now hook up to the Tesla chargers. It'll mean we can drive longer than our three hour trips because that's really all about the <laughs> longest we like to go. But now we can go for days well, we in can our bolt. Right. Uh, it's not going to make anything faster about how it charges. The bolt still is going to be limited to 54 kilowatts an hour. Um, but it just gives us access to more places. And we've right. driven by lots of times where we've seen a Tesla supercharging station and we thought, darn, it'd be nice if we could have just stopped yes, there. It would have yes. been convenient. So here we are at the Chevy dealer. We'll zip over to the parts department and uh, they've notified me that my adapter is in. All right, here we go. We're at the parts department. We're going to go check and see if the adapter's in. <laughs> Hello there. How are you? I'm here to pick up a part. Uh, a uh, charge adapter for a Tesla adapter. What's the name? Dale Ward, W-A-R-D. He had a bunch of them. There you are, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. All right. Okay. I don't usually really do unboxing videos. But this is pretty exciting, so uh, let's see what comes in this in this package from General Motors. It's the official General Motors adapter. And there it is. Yeah. Pretty heavy. Um, and I know that I've heard online or seen online that I think GM might be using a couple different manufacturers, but I wanted to make sure I got the official GM one, so there's no question about warranty or anything like that. All right, there it is out of the packaging. Obviously, this is the CCS side that uh, plugs into our car. And then this is the unique Tesla specific adapter. So we're using the PlugShare app and it's showing us now the uh, Tesla supercharging network up here, uh, about a mile away. So it is interesting that you realize the, the orientation of the charge ports between the Chevy and the Tesla are different. Tesla are oriented to back in because their charge port locations at the back. Take a look at those Tesla guys charging there, Janine. Mm -hmm. But come back here. So you can see with the Chevy, you got a, our charge ports are here at the front. 
So a couple things I'm going to try to do here. Let me go back to the app. And this is Charger 2D. And it says it's available. So I'm going to click it. So it says connect cord to the adapter and plug in. So I'm going to plug this into the car. And then I'm going to plug the Tesla charger into here. And I find I got to put the phone down to do that. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to say start charging. So it says it's connecting to the charger. I've got a yellow light on there, so I think it is negotiating if you want to show that yellow light. Mm -hmm. So that's a good step. And when it turns green, it'll be going. There it is. It's green and flashing. All right. We are charging We now. are charging on Tesla. So that's amazing. Make sure you get this here, Janine. Back up and see, make sure it says Tesla and make sure you get the Chevy in the shot. Go ahead. Back up there, camera girl. Exciting development for the bull. All right, so we're charging. We've proved we can do it. <laughs> so it's freezing outside. So we've decided we've charged as much as we want to charge here. Uh, so if you turn here, the way it says to stop charging when you're connected to a Tesla, because there's no buttons on the Tesla supercharger itself, they're different than a lot of the other ones we use, like Shell Recharge. So here you've got to go to the car, go to the charging app, and press the stop charging and unlock. And there it goes. So now we are unplugged and we can disconnect. And I'll let you do that by yourself because it's cold. <laughs> okay. Here's the summary of the charging session. We only charged for about 13 minutes and we gained 7.3 uh, kilowatt hours. So that's only about a 30 kilowatt per hour charge rate. If we had been at a lower state of charge, I expect we would have got the 54 kilowatts that the Bolt is capable of. Well, thank you for joining us on this video. If you're a Chevy Bolt owner, let me know how your Tesla experience has gone. We're excited now to have this option. Go ahead and give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Click subscribe to tune in for more adventures on the forward journey.